Alright, hello everyone, Simon here, and let us continue playing this war of mine, and according to my notes, I need to make a saw and an axe, and if I remember right, I have to go back to the brothel. Let us do that right away. Oh, it's still snowing, isn't it? We're about 10 days away from uh, surviving the war. I think we can make it, 10 days. Alright, sweet. So you're hungry and tired, you're gonna sleep, you're gonna sleep, you're gonna put wood in the fire, and you are gonna make an axe and uh, make a saw, a saw blade. So that's gonna last us five days, is that right? No, we eat every two days. No, yeah, that's gonna last us five days. Let's make a saw. Uh, except we have to survive for 10 more days. What are you doing? More stuff in there. Make a saw blade. And then make an axe. I can't believe I used up the other axe completely. That was uh, silly. That was not what I meant to do. And then aside from making an axe and a saw blade, I think that's all I'm doing today. Yeah, I think that's, that's everything I'm doing today. Let me just remember what I have here. Plenty of stuff. Uh, some fuel. Guns and bullets. We might run out of bullets before the game is over. Nobody is sad, which is good. I'm happy that no one is sad. Beware of bands of looters roaming the city. It's best to lock your doors and stay inside. Temperatures are still very low, firewood is getting harder to come by, so it's not going to get warmer anytime soon. As if war wasn't enough, crime is on the rise in the city of Pogoran. There are reports of armed assaults and robberies. Well, they've always been armed assaults and robberies. Alright, so there's going to be crime. So after the winter is over, the crime begins, which is a bit of an issue. How much stuff do I have? 14 water. Should I make cigarettes? No, because my guys will just smoke them, right? Let me check again. Oh. Don't have enough. To well, I do have enough to make one of those, actually. I can make that and then make that. The question is, do I want to? What else would I do with the stuff that I have? Nothing. Maybe I do. Because, do I have, uh, I don't have moonshine left. What if I upgrade this? I can also upgrade this. But again, they will allow us to make real meds and and quality uh, roll up cigarettes. But I don't need that stuff, right? So when the cold is over, I guess I can turn off one of the heaters, or like leave one of the heaters off. I'm just thinking, should I upgrade this stuff? How much sugar do I have? I seem to remember that we've run out of sugar. Yeah, we have no sugar. Alright, we're not gonna, <laughs> not gonna do anything. Uh, we're not gonna do any of that stuff. We are gonna wait out the rest of the day, even though it's mostly doing nothing, but I think it's better to to do that, keep the heaters fueled, and also like keep an eye down here for the meat. And I don't think anything else is gonna happen today. I mean, if somebody knocks on the door, I can answer, but... Hungry, 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 hungry. Uh, well, the guy is smoking, so... 
Should I just wait it out or should I end the day? I can gladly eat something he said. The thing is, if you end the day sooner, the heater will run out of fuel and then your house gets colder. Which is annoying. How much fuel do I have? 14. So tonight I'm taking the saw and the axe to the brothel. I'm gonna chop up their furniture and take everything that is left. We have to be careful though, because when you go upstairs, they actually don't want you going up there. Tomorrow we have to eat. At least it's warm, he says. Well, at least it is warm. I don't think the heat is actually... I mean, they seem to burn the same amount of fuel. So I don't know, like, it's, it says that if you upgrade it, it burns less fuel. I'm not sure that it does. I think it actually heats up the house more. Because I seem to put in the same amount of fuel into both heaters every single day. So I think it's, uh, the, the tooltip I think is wrong. I think it's... You need one good heater and one normal heater to maintain above 15 degrees. Or maybe just one good heater will maintain above 15 degrees, I don't even know. When it's snowing, the, the small heater won't get above 15 and your guys will get sick. I wonder if, if I let that burn out, if that's going to be enough to keep us warm. And I'm going to end the day here. The night. Oh, we're going back to the brothel. 2% scavenge. You're going to guard. Everyone else is going to sleep in a bed. I'm going to take a saw blade and a axe. Scavenge. Alright, so we're gonna walk, try not to be spotted or heard. Let me come down here and saw this open. I mean, I mean the fact that the saw blade is single use is curious. Uh, it's not great. It's also not great. Let's chop this up. If it's a lot of wood and... Okay, it's not a lot. I feel like the wood and the firewood is worth more than, say, like casings and gunpowder. Let's continue to be real quiet. They are willing to trade. So we're gonna go through here. We're not gonna trade with them. We're gonna walk our way up here. No, dude, don't, don't, don't run, don't run. Grab the wood. And the question now is... Do I leave behind the other stuff? Well, I don't have to yet. There's other bars up there, but that's going to be going into... Places where they don't want us to go into, so... I'm not gonna go in there. Like, we can sneak back there. Let's see what this is.
two bullets. So I can take that and I can take that. Do I leave behind something? Leave behind a book and take the wood? I think the coffee... The coffee is worth less. I can come back for three coffee. <laughs> but I'm probably not going to. I might just stack together the other stuff. I remember, yeah, okay, there's, there's another pile there. I'm mean, just just take the time to stack together this stuff. I can grab all of that. See, like this is worth more. With the firewood and the wood is worth more than than the ammo and other crap. So we're hundred percent taking this stuff. Let's put that behind. Let's put that behind. Let's put that behind. The ammo I would take. Uh, I'm just gonna grab the coffee as well. So there's a little bit of stuff here I can come back and take. I can also come trade with these people at some point in the future if I want to. Uh, there's a person there. Why is there a person there? Hi. Bye. Alright, goodbye. <laughs> That's weird. Alright, let me get the coffee and just pile them up. And if there's nothing else for us to do, we can come back for for a little bit more wood. I mean, it's really not very much. I should actually... let me just go and think about trading with them. You know what, let me grab the, uh, the stuff I don't want. Go and ask about trading with them. And we might just get more of the stuff that we do want. Right. Also, it's uh, almost three o'clock. So if I take that, like, think about trading these things with them. See what I can get for them. All right, let's come in here. Alright, what do you want to trade? Um, more firewood seems like a good idea. Very common stuff, not very interesting. Very common stuff, not very interesting. Very common stuff, not very interesting. They have 6 ammo. Quite common being honest. 3 firewood. I can give him that for three firewood. Oh, firewood is expensive right now, isn't it? Let's not give him firewood then. Firewood is especially expensive right now. I don't think we need food. Meds. Bullets. One, two, three, four, five. Four bullets. Sh sure, four bullets. I mean, we turn that into four bullets, like it's worthwhile. 
All right, let's get out of here. So we don't want to give him uh, anything for firewood. F first of all, we don't need it because I'm already taking seven firewood from them, <laughs> plus a bunch of logs. I will take the book. Alright, so if we want to, there's five wood here that we can come back for. Alright, I think that's worth it. We took stuff from their house and traded with them. <laughs> this seems a little bit scummy, but okay. Day 32. What a night! We've been raided, they took six bullets, we didn't lose anything. Very hungry and tired. Alright, you put more fuel in the fire, put more fuel in the fire, you sleep. And then everyone's very hungry, so we are going to cook a meal. You're gonna come down here. Oh, is there meat? There's no meat. Mm, that's a problem. There's no meat. Might have to think about what we do. In any case, let's just real quick cook some food. Haven't eaten for days, you say. Well, you're gonna eat right now. Put more fuel in the fire. You're gonna eat. We're down to three vegetables and three meat. Oh, we do have meat. Alright, you, you cook again. So I feel like two traps is not enough to to have indefinite meat for four people. I feel like we're getting more vegetables than we're getting meat. Is it okay if we become vegetarians? I, why would you put canned food in there? Uh, Let's do that. Make meat with meat. Six and six. Let's keep an eye on that thing. Someone's at the door. Help you, you say. Alright, well let's see what help you need. You're gonna listen to the radio. They're gonna ask for food, aren't they? Hello again, we are hungry. I knew it. Hi again. Thanks to you, our mom is getting better, but she is still weak and we have no food left. We are very hungry. Can you give us something to eat, please? Two food. Alright. Oh boy. There goes our food supply. But temperatures are still very low. Classical music. Be care beware of bands of looters roaming the city. Alright, nothing new. Keep an eye on the meat. Alright, so now we are two foot shorter than before. <laughs> That's a little bit disastrous. Um, we're gonna have enough food for four days. Uh, no, don't, don't chop that. Eat that. And then you're gonna come down here. The weather's not getting better anytime soon. I have eight more water, so I can cook one more time for four people before. Oh wait, no, no, we can't. We can't. We need water for this. All right, eat faster. Eat faster, guys. All 
Alright, you do that. And then I need to make water. Make two of those. You make four more water filters. Uh, one, two, three, four. Will we able to re will we be able to return to our normal lives after this? Good question. Now things we have eleven fuel. We have plenty of wood. So now the question is, where do I go tonight? Do I just go back for five wood? The other thing I can do is take some medicine to trade with the guys at the garage. Or just go back to the garage and grab whatever I, I didn't grab last time. 